Okay, so I want to look at a few other features that are available uh, in the demo, or you can use in the demo and see quickly how it works. And the first one I want to go to is this eye in the corner. So there's two things in here. There's this, this a uh, bunch of features, and then there's the scene graph, which I'm going to talk about right after. So the, uh, there's, you know, what's cool about the time of day is I just want you to look at the scene while I move this around. So you can modify the time of day in your models and it's a really powerful uh, uh, built-in tool. Okay, so that's a quick way to do that, the time of day. Over here you have the, I already showed you the hotkeys for moving. So you have one, uh, two, bicycle speed and uh, running speed, I guess, but really it's car speed because it's a lot faster than, uh, than, sorry, one is the slow speed, two, and then the car speed is the number three, okay? So we talked about that as well. And I want to show you something else that's really powerful. Uh, right now we're in perspective mode. So if you know anything about 3D models, you know perspective mode is basically what it looks like in if, if you were in that room, okay? So I'm going to just show you uh, the next uh, item. So basically you can look at orthographic modes and you just click. This is what it looks like from the side. This is what it looks like. Uh, sorry, this is from the side. This is from the top. This is from uh, this side and this is from that side. And I mean, it's a circular model and this is back to perspective mode. And again, so let's just click on an item and press F like I showed you. And uh, let's just press the E key. Um, well, I'll just show you an even easier way if ever it acts up like this. You go to your scene graph and select uh, and press F. Okay, and it will bring you to, let's just see, um, here, let's go to characters, press F. It'll bring me right in to, so he's the one in outside, okay? Okay, I see what I did wrong. It's a, there's a weird thing. This one here is not, is a custom, and I, the one you want for perspective mode is this one, okay? So, uh, I'll talk about the scene graph in a second. But I just want to uh, show you this here. So um, this last section here allows you to uh, run it in VR if you have a VR set plugged into your TV and you can walk or into your uh, computer, I mean, and you could walk right through here. So it's very cool. So I just want to click on one of these models uh, just to show you. So she's not animated, okay? So there's some that are not animated and then there's this character who's animated. So if you bring in a non-animated character, there's nothing you can do to it. But if you bring in an animated character, I just want you to see that you can change the, po the pose. So let's just make him sit down. Does it make sense? But probably idle would be better. He's on his phone. So when you're creating your ArchViz scene and you drop in models, you can do that. And where are the models? They're in the library section. Okay, so uh, there's quite a bit in here. Um, so let's go so under characters. There's animals. There's a... Uh, Pose humans, animated humans, there's cutouts. See, a cutout is like this character. There's no movement. Maybe that's what you want for your scene. Um, if you're creating a video, it's probably better if you use uh, animated. If you're creating photos, it's probably better if you use this. I want to take a few seconds to look at the scene graph. There's a lot in there. We'll play with that later. So the scene graph is this uh, item here. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the top. You saw me open that a second ago. And in the scene graph, basically, is every item that you find in this, uh, this scene, okay? So if I'm looking for items, so maybe I want to find a chair or there, this dumpster. I don't know where it is. Let's press the F key. It'll bring me right to it, all right? So, and I want to click on this. You see this item. You can also hide this or press the H key to hide different items. And, you know, maybe you want to... You can rotate this like I, I we discussed using the four, five, and six key. So you can make this larger or whatever. So everything, I'm going to go control Z. It's a very powerful way to move around. You can hide a whole section of the scene and see what's inside of it. Uh, you know, you want to hide the vegetation. There really isn't that much in here. You want to hide the characters. You just can click on the, the hide, hide the characters thing. Another thing you want to probably look at is how is this running currently on my computer okay so you can see it's it's pretty intense the gpu is at 99 uh, percent and uh, 
the CPU is running at 50, but it is running at 138 frames per second. So that's really good uh, because I did show you over here, there's a VR setting. And what you want for VR, you need at least 90 frames per second. So if you have a scene and you want to run it in VR, you need to have 90 frames per second. Okay. So I think that'll be good for uh, going through. Uh, so I'll just briefly, so this is your scene graph. This is your library. And there's a lot in here. There's the materials. There's vegetation. Why don't I just bring in a tree just for fun, just to show you how easy it really is. You can drop that. Yeah, it makes no sense. Uh, now you could shrink it. And I'm going to do that right now. And uh, I'm going to make a tree fit inside here. And I will move it in the corner using, oops. Doesn't seem to want to move. Let's shrink it even more. That's an example of it lagging because there's, like I said, the computer's running at 99%. If you're not sure, again, where was that? Right down here, you can see how it's running. So it's it's a pretty intense uh, level. So I'll, uh, I guess that'll be it for this video. So library panel, scene graph, uh, quick settings, and we'll talk about this a little bit more as uh, we start building uh, upper level. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know.